praise the Lord. Good morning, viewers all over the world, members of the congregations. You are all welcome for today's service. So please rise up and start appreciating God for giving us these opportunities to be here. Glorify His name because His word is to be praised. There is no one like Him, God. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. I worship you. I glorify your name. I praise your name. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for our life. Thank you, God, for your provisions. Thank you, God, because you are a faithful God, you are a righteous God. Blessed be the name because you are God. Lord, we thank you for another gift of life. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your empowerment. Lord, we thank you, God, for this holy Sabbath day as we are about to preach your word. May the blessings of God, may the riches of your glory continue to be upon us. Lord, I surrender all unto you. Blessed be the name, because you are God, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, the Alpha and the Omega, the El Shaddai. Lord, I give you all the honor. I give you all the glories. I give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus, and the Lord. Lord, we pray you with the conditions of this and the answers of you. Thank you, Father. We don't need to our hearts, O Lord, and the blessings of God. May the riches of your glory continue to be in our life, O oh God. Heavenly Father, have your way where there is no way, Lord. You are the way maker, O oh God. To come all those who are on their way coming, Lord. Have travel massing upon them. Have travel massing upon them, O oh God. Thank you. Protect them wherever they are, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the praises. I give you all the glory. I give you all the adoration. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I send it all unto you. you. Lord. Thank May you your will be done. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank, thank you, the King of Kings. Lord, we thank, thank you for all your blessings. Thank you, oh God, for giving us this grace. Thank you for your grace upon our life. Thank you, oh God, for your blessings. Thank you, oh God, for the riches of your glories upon our life. Heavenly Father, I honor your name, oh God. I lift your name above everything. Your name is a strong tower, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, renew that spirit within you, O oh God. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, our spirit is so heavy, O oh Lord. Release the spirit of God upon our life, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in every area of our life, we surrender to this service in the house of you. Lord, we recognize your presence, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and fill up your children, fill them up with your words, your anointing, your power, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray and ask you, O oh God, may your grace, may your blessing be upon us, O oh God, in every situation, in everything that we are doing, O oh God. Come and use us mightily, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I surrender all unto you. you. For the last Sunday. I give you all the glory. Thank you for your protecting us, O oh God. Thank you for another day added to our life. There are so many people who have this opportunity to be here, O oh God. Some are in prison. Some are in sick bed. Some are in critical conditions. But Lord, as we come before you, O God, we lift your Thank name you, above everything. I say, God, we must be Joshua, the same God is going to be with us this morning, O Lord. I say, God, who was with David, who was able to conquer the Lion of Judah. I say, God is going to be with us this morning, O God. As a Father, I recognize your presence. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me lift up our voice and start confessing our sins. He said, in every situation, we have to confess our sins. God is the only one who will forgive us and cleanse us away from our iniquities. Lift up your voice and start confessing your sins. Confess your sins unto the Lord. Let God have mercy upon you. Let God have mercy upon you in every area of your life. Lord, whatsoever you have done wrong, whatsoever you have did contrary to the things of Lord, God, let the Lord have mercy upon you. Heavenly Father, we pray for your mercy in a merciful God. Mercy you are a forgiving God. Forgive us in every area of our life. Lord, I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy. Let your mercy reach upon us. May the mercy of God fall upon our life, O oh God. Lord, even those that were wrong, so God, let them have mercy and forgiveness in their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lord, I pray for your mercy. I ask for forgiveness. Yes, Forgive me. Bless me away from every wrongdoing, every iniquity, every situation of my Lord, life. Whatsoever I've done contrary to you. Lord, I pray for that mercy. I pray for mercy. I pray for forgiveness. Have mercy not for me. Have mercy for the entire universe. There are so many atrocities. So many violence in the world today. Nations are fighting against nations. Children speak disobedience over their parents. Heavenly Father, we need your intervention. Intervene, oh God. Touch their hearts, soften their minds, soften their souls, their spirit. Heavenly Father, I start today, oh God, as the servant of God. I stand behalf of all viewers over the world, wherever you are. Lift off your voice and start crying for mercy. Let God have mercy upon you. Let God have mercy upon you. In every addiction, some things, battles that you are fighting, things that you are doing contrary to the things of God. May God touch your hearts. May God turn away your situations. God, I pray for mercy, oh God. I pray for mercy. Touch the nation worldwide. God, have mercy over the children of these nations. Have mercy over wheresoever there is war. I pray for mercy. There are so many wickedness, so many violence, so many atrocities in the world today. I pray for the mercy of God. I pray for forgiveness. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us away from every wrongdoing, every situation we find ourselves, Lord. I pray for the mercy of God. I pray for the mercy of God. Let the mercy of God reign in our heart. Let the mercy of God reign in our heart. I pray for the mercy of God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank you for having mercy upon for your children. Thank you, Lord, for having mercy upon for all the wrong things, O oh God. Amen. Heavenly Father, I give you all the praise, all the glories, all the adorations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's lift up our voice and start inviting the Holy Spirit in our service today. May God have the way, may the Spirit of God intervene in every situation. May God direct us. May that Spirit of God use the children of God tonight to this morning, O God. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I praise your name and glorify your name. Holy Spirit of God, come and have a way. Come and take control, Lord. I commit the entire service in the hands of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for the Holy Spirit of God. Intervene, touch your children. Come and fill them up. Fill them up with your power. Holy Spirit, I need you. I need you. Come and touch your children. Holy Spirit of God, I need you. Come and fill up, O oh God. Let the Spirit of God direct us. We will send the situation to whatsoever we are doing today. We commit it in the hands of God. Let the Spirit of God. Let the Spirit of God overflow. The Spirit of God overflow in our service today. Lord, I thank you. I worship you. I glorify your name. I praise your name. Holy Spirit, I need you. I need your power. Fill me up with your words. Holy Spirit, fill me with your wisdom and understanding. Heavenly Father, I pray for the anointing of God. Let the Holy Spirit of the anointing of God fell upon us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the Holy Spirit and the anointing of God to fill the whole of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for that Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. Come and use your children. Come and use us mightily. Holy Spirit, I need you. I need your power. Come and touch your children. Come and fill them up with your words, with your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and direct your children. Fill them up, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I worship you. I can feel the presence of God here this morning, O oh God. Heavenly Father, make your way where there is no way. Lord, you are the way makers. Come and fill up your children. Let's pray for your manifestations. Holy Spirit, I pray for signs and wonders. I pray for deliverance in every situation. In every situation, whatsoever you are going through, I don't know what is your problem. Believe and trust in the Lord. Commit your problems in the hands of God. Let God take control. Have faith in the Lord and believe in Him. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I need you. I need your visitation. Touch your children. Use them mightily in your kingdom. Let your name be glorified. Let the power of God, the grace of God. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honors. I give you all the praises. I give you all the glory. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the El Shaddai, the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. As we come here, oh Lord, we will not go like that. As we come here, Lord, let there be deliverance in our life. Let there be breakthrough, oh God. Heavenly Father, we break every forces of darkness. We silence every power from the kingdom of darkness. I take authorities and dominions. We take authorities and dominions. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take authorities, we take dominions over every power, every monetary power, or budget power, witchcraft, demonic attacks, satanic kingdoms. We take that authority now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the praises, I give you all the glories, I give you all the adorations. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's start cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself, your finances, your resources. Cover yourself, cover yourself as the power in the blood of Jesus. In everything that you are praying for, we cover the entire service today with the blood of Jesus. If it those who are on their way coming, Lord, I commit their hands in the hands of you, Lord. Lord, I cover them, even the cars they drive, they have been covered with the blood of Jesus. I cover this environment with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself, I cover my life, viewers all over the world, congregations, she have been covered with the blood of Jesus. Jehovah, I give you all the praises, I give you all the glories, I give you all the adoration. Thank you, El Shaddai, King of Kings. I cover this environment, I cover every instrument, every word that is about to preach is being covered with the blood of Jesus. I cover every song with the blood of Jesus. It's a little of noise in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, as we come unto you, O God, we give you all, we give ourselves, we give our hearts unto you. Fill her up with the power of God and cover every instrument, every word, every prayer point today is being covered with the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare an act, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover my finances, my resources, I cover every project, cover your career with the blood of Jesus, cover your full step, cover your prayer with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we commit the entire week, we turn our months with the blood of Jesus. I commit the entire month, the months ahead of us with the blood of Jesus. As we are about to see the new month, oh God, Lord, whatsoever is ahead of us will be a blessing in our life. Things that we do not achieve, oh God. I pray that, Lord, Heavenly Father, may the most be a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me be the entire service in the hands of God. May God have a way this morning. May God take control. Believe and trust in the Lord. The Bible says, say, have faith in the Lord. In anything that you ask in my name, I will give unto you. As you come here today, you're not here by magic. There are so many people who do not have this opportunity to be in the presence of God. But let God mighty intervene in your situation. May God speed up your prayer. Things you pray for secretly. Heavenly Father is going to bless you openly. Let's lift up our voice now and commit the activities, the church activities in the hands of you. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I commit to the activities, O God. Come and use your children mightily in your kingdom. Come and use them, empower them, O God. Heavenly Father, whatsoever I'm praying for, O God, I pray that my prayer will be answered speedily. I pray against every deliverance, every of Every deliverance, every stone of block in my life, I silence it, O God. Heavenly Father, give me peace of mind, O God. I pray for your comfort, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your word. Help me to have a personal relationship with you. Help me to dwell in your kingdom. Even if you are so over the world, there is no barrier in prayer as you lift your voice before the Lord. It says you close now, it says you close destinies as you come in the presence of God. You focus on the Lord and preach and ask of the Lord. May God help you, may God deliver you in every situation. May God deliver you in every authority power. May God bless you, may God open doors of blessing for you. Doors that the enemies have shut, let that doors be open. Let the doors be open. Every mountain, every mountain that's standing against your blessing, oh God, we break that mountain, oh God. 
Reverend Father, I pray that your children are crying unto you. They hear their cry, hear their supplication. So seek the kingdom of God first. Everything shall be added unto you. You say, Art, you shall be given, not the door shall be opened. Seek, you shall be found, Lord, as we seek you this morning, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, bless us, open doors of blessings in our life. We pray for the riches of your glory. We pray for your empowerment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make a way where there is no way, Lord. You are the way maker. God, I give you all the praises. I give you all the glory. I give you all the adorations. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. I honor you. I give you all the praises. I give you all the glories. As your sons and daughters, they come before you. You said in your word, we are told to are gathered. You will always be in their midst. Amen. Heavenly Father, we commit our situations, our problems in the hands of you. Every battle that is ahead of us, oh God, Lord, fight our battles. You are the man of the battles. Amen. Lord, release us, oh God. Give us comfort. Give us peace of mind. Amen. I commit this service in the hands of you, oh God. Lord, we give you all the praises. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the morning, I will direct my prayer. In the morning, I will look up to God. Mm. Father, Lord, we thank you for this great morning. Mm. We are looking up to you, Lord. We will come here with every heart. Father, Lord, come and give us rest. Amen. And every one that is here today, those who are not here, those who are not coming, do us for the mind and judge us for what, Lord. As we have come here today, we have different thoughts, different prayer, different prayer points. If we're buying, Father Lord, come and give us that rest. We thank you, Lord, Father, for the last Sunday of October today. We give all glory to your brothers who are here. We commit everyone, we commit your word that you are about to share. We commit this service, Lord, that you will do it among us, Lord. Any power against this service today, in the name of Jesus, will cancel their plan. We commit every word said today, every prayer point said to the Lord. Let your will be done, may it come to pass. Amen. We thank you, Abba Father, Father, for this great day. Thank you. For in Jesus' precious mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are highly welcome to today's service. We have a few prayer points that we'll go through. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, he said, Father, cleanse me from every unrighteousness, purify me today in Jesus' name. Amen. So our Heavenly Father is going to place us away from every unrighteousness. God is going to purify us in Jesus' name. Amen. We're gonna lift up our voice and pray very well. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. Both knowing or knowing. Both knowing or knowing. Sins that you have committed against the Lord. So pray. Yeah, God have mercy upon you. Yeah. Whatsoever sins that you know, whatsoever sins you don't know that you have committed against our Father in heaven. Pray very well. Don't say this prayer point is not for you. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every prayer point to God, I pray for repentance today. Have mercy for your children. I pray for forgiveness. Cast me away from my iniquities in every situation. Lord, I pray for your mercy. Have mercy for your children. Forgive your children, oh God. Your sons and daughters, they are here. They lift their voice before you. They are crying for repentance. Repent away from your sins. Let your sins not be to be blocked over your prayer. Lord, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon my families, my loved ones. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in every situation in my life, whatsoever I have sinned against you, Lord, I pray for your mercy. Let your mercy never sin in my heart. Let your mercy, let the mercy of God, let the rain of mercy of God fall upon you and wash you away from your iniquity. Heavenly Father, have mercy over to us all over the world. Lift up your voice, the close mouth is the closest here. As you lift your voice up, you ask for forgiveness. 
Heavenly Father is faithful and righteous to forgive you and cleanse you away from every iniquity. Every sin that you are committed, O oh Lord, may God have mercy upon you. Lord, have mercy upon this universe. Have mercy upon the nation worldwide. Have mercy upon the entire universe. There are so many atrocities. There are so many violence, so many war. Anywhere you go, too much atrocity, so many wickedness. Lord, I pray for your mercy. I ask for forgiveness. Forgive us. Forgive members of this ministry. Forgive the entire universe. Forgive, oh God, the nation of Africa, America, Asia, Europe. I pray for the mercy. Have mercy for your children. Lord, we are here praying unto you. Repent from our sins, so oh God, I pray that Lord, in every sin that I commit against you, I surrender myself unto you, renew my spirit within me, and have repentance in my heart. Lord, I pray for your mercy, I ask for forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray very well. Say, oh Lord. I submit myself totally in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I submit myself totally in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Submit yourself totally in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Submit yourself in the Lord. Submit yourself. Submit your life, your situations, your bodies, your prayer points. You just need them. I submit myself, oh God, totally. I submit my life in the hands of you. I submit my careers, my business, my finances in the hands of you, oh God. In every area of my life, Lord, I submit it to the hands of you, God. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, your children are here, they are crying out to you. Submit yourself, submit your situation, submit your problems to the hands of you. I don't know what you are going through, I don't know what is your situation, I don't know what is your problem. But as you lift your voice before this morning, this holy Sabbath day, you call upon the Lord. Submit it in the hands of you, o God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I submit my job in the hands of you, o God. I submit my resources, my finances, O God, in the hands of you. Heavenly Father, you are the only God that we call upon and answer prayer. Lord, take control by every situation in our life, O God. I submit it in the hands of you, o God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord, have your way. I submit the Lordship in the hands of you. I submit the Lordship only in the hands of you. I submit the Lordship, O oh God. I submit myself, my family, my loved ones. I submit my friends in the hands of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we submit every situation in the hands of you. I submit every situation, every situation. In every situation in our life, we submit it in the hands of you, O oh God. I submit it to the hands of you, O God. Heavenly Father, I give you all the praises. I give you all the glories. I give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, the King of Kings. Thank you, the El Shaddai, the God that answer prayer. Blessed be the name because you are God. You want it to be prayed on. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glories. We give you all the adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to lift up our voice and pray. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. I repent of every, every rebellion and pride. I repent of every rebellion and pride. Arrogant. Arrogance. Controlling. Controlling. Desire in dispensation. Desire in dispensation. Lift up your voice and lift oh, up your voice. I pray, oh God, I repent from every rebellion and pride. Every pride, every control in my life, every pride, rebellious, every father, I repent of it. Every father, every arrogance in my life, I repent it to God. Whatsoever arrogance, whatsoever pride, whatsoever control, every manipulation, every desire, every desire, I repent it to God in the mighty name of Jesus. I repent, O oh God, every manipulation, every arrogance, every pride that is in me. I pray for repentance, I pray for repentance, every arrogance, every control, every disrespect, every disrespect. I pray against it, O God. Every father, your children are repenting, every areas of their life that they are struggling, 
Every pride in you, every pride in you. I lift my voice before you. I pray for that repentance. I pray for the repentance of every pride. Lord, I thank you. I worship you. Every control, every administrative spirit, power, kingdom of darkness. I pray for repentance. I pray. Every pride in you, God. I pray, oh God. In you, oh God, God. I pray for that pride. I pray against you, Lord. I pray for that repentance, controlling every controlling spirit. I pray, oh God, for repentance. Have mercy on for me. I commit it to the hands of you. Things that are contrary to your will. Things that are contrary to your will. I pray, oh God, for repentance, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord. Every wrong association carry a witchcraft message. Let them fall. Say, O oh Lord, oh Lord, every wrong association carry a witchcraft message. Every wrong association carry a witchcraft message. False movement. Hidden. Agenda. Agenda. In my life. In my life. Let them fall now. Let them fall Let now. Them Pray against every every witchcraft message, every witchcraft message, every witchcraft message for now, every witchcraft message that is being hidden, every hidden agenda in your life from the witchcraft, let them fall and die, let them fall and die. There are so many witchcraft agenda, witchcraft agenda message, witchcraft message against your life, against the life of your kids, against the life of your family. Let him fall and die. Let him fall and die. Every witchcraft agenda against my life, against my finances, against my blessings, against my job. You need them. Let them fall down and die. Fall down and die. Every witchcraft message, every witchcraft agenda. There are agendas to witchcraft they have. Every witchcraft has situations. Every witchcraft that carry my agenda. Carry every hidden things against me, O oh Lord. Lift up your voice. This is so far not the wish to live. So far not the wish to live. Destroy them. Destroy them. Start destroying them now. Destroy them. Let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. In every area, in whatsoever they are altars, they are keeping their agenda. I release that fire of God to destroy their agenda. I destroy the fire of God. Destroy them now. Every witchcraft message. Message from the witchcraft. Yes, wherever you are. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let them fall now. We shall have agenda, we shall have healing messages. If we shall have the messages, the healing, oh God, wheresoever they are hiding, a we shall message, wheresoever they are hidden against me, against my life, let them fall now. I command you to be fallen now. I command you to be fallen now. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we honor you, we give you all the glory. Lord, we thank you for answering prayer. We thank you for your deliverance. Deliver your children, oh God, this morning, this holy Sabbath day. Lord, we pray, oh God, even viewers all over the world, there's no parent prayer. Our faith is being connected, oh God. In everything that we have been praying for, oh God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for answering those prayers. We thank you for your testimonies, oh God. Lord, we give you all the praises. We give you all the glory. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Revelation 12, 7 to 9. The war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angel fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their, their place in heaven. The great dragon was hauled down. That ancient serpent called the devil. Or Satan, who leads the old world today, he was hurried up to the heart, and his angel with him. And a prayer point, we are going to pray for God to release thunder and fire to the camp of the wicked in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that the Lord will release his fire to the, to the, to the camp of the wicked. Father, release your fire to the camp of the wicked. Father, release your fire to the camp of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Fire, your 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 fire,
Release your fire so you can come the enemy. Release your fire now. Lord, I command you to release your fire. Release your fire. So you can come the enemy. Release your fire. I command you to release your fire. Release your fire.
children in this war zone that are dying innocently. Let's commit these children into the hands of God that God will go there and fight this battle. Let's begin to pray. Let's start our Father. We commit. We commit this day. We commit this day. We commit all the lands of war. We commit young children into our hands. Father, we commit even the vulnerable ones that don't know. And now you are the war of control. You are the war that will fight for us. You said the battle belongs to the Lord. Go there and fight for those innocent ones. Let them be a Katayamara. Let them be a Katayamara. Let them be a Katayamara. In God of war, in God of battle, fight for the children. Fight for those young children. Let them be a Katayamara. Let them be a Katayamara. Lord, go and fight for them in that land. Lord, go and preserve their land. 
Every land that has war, Lord, we pray to them. Children will not die like chicken. Children will not suffer from wickedness. Children will not suffer from selfish wickedness. They are innocent, so they don't know what is going on. Because you are God, you are the one who created them. That's why we are committing them to make their hearts. You say when our heart is heavy, we should come to you with us yes. You say whatever we are agreed on in prayers of this heart, you in heaven will endorse it. We have come together as a church. We have come individually. We have come as a team God, crying to you our heart today. Those children are dying. Go and preserve them from that land. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray against accidents for all of us. To our loved ones, our family, that the Lord will protect us from accidents, the Lord will protect us from sickness, the Lord will protect us from many dangers out there. Let's begin to pray to me for ourselves and others. And let the Lord protect us. Let satire Protect us, Lord. Protect us, Lord. He said, Let us ask in prayer. Let me be we are missing. Your protection we are missing. Your protection we are missing. Your blessing today we are missing. Your comment we have received. Let's start a dialogue. Ima na ya na na ke se ye 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 ye. Let's start a dialogue. Let's begin to start a dialogue. Ima na ya na na. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We have come to thank you. Our Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the El Shaddai, the Omnipotent, the Omnipresent. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray our eyes in your love and wisdom. We thank you, Lord, in heaven. We honor your name, Papa. We thank you, our Father. In the name of the Son, I am your Father. In the name of Jesus. By Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Let's pray now for the week ahead of us. We see what happened in May 9th. That's how they call the state. We see the God shows. Every day, people just get up. They say they are mentally sick. Healing no sent souls. Take lives that they did, they did not give. Let's pray for the week ahead of us. We we'll go out every day. We we'll go to work. We we'll go to many places. We don't know what is ahead of us. Only God knows. But because of that, when you use your mouth and begin to be grateful for that week, God will go before you and scatter every plan of the enemy. You will not be part of God's shots. You will not be part of nothing. So begin to pray now with your own mouth. The week ahead of you, what you want him to do, let God accept. I come in that week that is coming. God will not see me. The wicked one will not see me. Accident will not see me. No one will judge me with a gunshot. Nothing will happen to me. The wicked will keep the wicked to themselves. The bad will keep the bad to themselves. I will not die by that gunshot. I will not die by accident. I will not die by wicked soul. I say, Katayana, you better me. I will die your time, Lord. No one will take my life shot. No one will kill me. Even outside, I'm going to stop. I will come back on Saturday. Let that tire run. Those ones that are taking back from one part to another, kill the pitiless souls. We will not die today. This will not die. Nobody will die in this world. Our loved ones will not die. Our family will not die. Our members will not die. Let that tire run. God will pray for them. We will go out and come back Saturday. You will go out and come back. You will do what the Lord has done. Let the Lord have a satire. You are the other plan. Let this week, let your breath in this week, let your breath in this week, but not to walk with us, not to walk with us, not to walk with us, not to walk with us. Let the Lord have a satire. Let the Lord have a satire. Let the Lord have a satire. We thank you for the protection. We thank you for the protection. We thank you for the protection. For Jesus' precious mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's cover our prayer point today with the precious blood of Jesus. That no power from the pit of hell will stop this prayer that we have prayed today. That the God of heaven will hear our prayer today in the name of Jesus. Let me begin to prophesy in our prayer. Let me begin to prophesy in our prayer. That God will hear this word today. That God will hear this prayer today. That this prayer will come to pass today. Let's say it in the name of God. I thank you, Lord, because you are the only one that will hear me. I thank you, Lord, because you are the only one that can hear my prayer. I feel your presence, I know you are here. In the 
the name of Jesus. When Jesus name we are praying. Amen. Let us pray, Abba Father. It is our privilege and joy to praise you. As we sing, let us make a joyful noise to you. As we pray, may our words and thoughts be a pleasant amen to you. As we open your word, may we trust in your in your falling promise. Your word holds truth. It is a living and active sharper than two-edged sword. Open the eyes of our hearts that we may see you more clearly today in your words through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good Talk morning. to your neighbor and begin to bless them. Tell them they are blessed. Happy last Sunday of the month. You are blessed. Yes. You are blessed. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Amen.
I thank God for this ministries. I thank God for the Holy Sabbath day. Every Sunday I find myself in the presence of God. There are so many people, they don't have this opportunity. Some are in the hospitals, some are sick, some are traumatized, some are depressed, some are in prison. But we thank God, none of these things does it affect me. I give all the praises, all the glory. I thank God for the strength in the life of my families and loved ones, even the entire congregations. Every Sunday we meet here. It's a joyful thing to fellowship our Father in heaven. I know as we continue to praise God, to have relationship, personal relationship with our Father in heaven, all the riches of the glories, all the blessings will be bestowed upon us. I know Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the Redeemer of the whole world. I know He lives. This I know to be true, and I live with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Is there any testifying in the house of God? Yeah. Yeah, I want to appreciate God for not to give the last Sunday in October. I want to thank God for bringing me this far. You know, we won't be doing this tomorrow. Everything is to do. So I want to appreciate God for this day, for preserving my life, for making me be here today. And I want to thank God for traveling us this tour of the week. And I want to give all praise to Him. His name will continue to be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. God will continue to bless you and protect you. And if it wants ahead of you, you will be protected. In Jesus' name. Is there any testifying in the house of God? Yeah. Is there anyone want to share their testimony? signs and wonders, miracles, blessings in your life that you will testify how great you are. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praises. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That will lead us to our scripture reading. Our brother will share the scripture reading with us. Good morning, church. Good morning. Our reading this morning is from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 10. 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 10. First Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 10. First Corinthians 15, verse 1 to 10. I read in Jesus' name. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. 
by which also ye have seen, if ye keep in memory what I what preach, preach unto, unto you, unless ye have believed in faith. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that and he has that led us, and that and was rose again, the according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that, After that he, he was seen of about five hundred brethren at once. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are thrown asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last but not all, all, he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But, but by, by the grace, grace of God, God I am what I am, and, and his grace, grace which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But, but I labor more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but, but the grace of God, God which, was which was with me. This is the gospel of the Lord. And the seeds of God. And we please have our seats and now turn the rest of the sections to the one of God for our sermon today. Good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm the U.S.
to look like a mortal human being and get a human and get that. Therefore, the God gave them over in the sinful desires of their heart to sexual impurities and for the intervening of the bodies with one another. They exchange the truth about God, about God for a lie, and worship and serve created things rather than the Creator who is forever preached. Amen. Because of this, God gave them over the sinful lust. For even their women exchanged natural sexual relationships for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relationships with women and with inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with another man and received in them and received in themselves the, the poor penalty for the error. Furthermore, just as they just as this not been before to retain the knowledge of God. So God gave them over to a deprived mind so that they do that they do what ought not to be done. They are became filled with them in every kind of wickedness, evil, wit and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit and merit. They are gossips, slanders, broad haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent way of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They have no understanding, no, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Although they know God's righteous degree, that whose such Desire death, they only continue to do these very things, but also are full of the who backwards them. Praise the Lord. Thank you for thanking me, sir. So, we want to look into the key points. It's a long reading, it's talking of the heart of God, it's being revealed from heaven against all the godliness and wickedness of people. There are key points into this meeting I want us to look at. He said, the people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. We just want to look at the entire globe at the war itself, the universe that God created. You see beautiful land in Israel. You see beautiful building. Building they built, some of us we are not born. Building that they are building now. Wonderful nice building. You look at Gaza. You look at all these places. But because of the wickedness of men, you see how destroyed they are destroying those land. Look how children are dying because of our wickedness. And all of them, even the Bible told us before we were born, there was war already in all those land, and the war continued. But because of this, their, their, their wickedness, they suppress the truth. The truth that's supposed to be said, even this America. They will support because this is war. This is how they make their money. This is wickedness. They make money to war. God shot. They should have decided to, to, to cancel God shot. Or cancel whatever way they can cancel. Or whether, whether they can take God away from this land. The land of America. People will fight for themselves. Let's look at Africa. You go to some lame man, they don't have money, you go to the money, you cannot give money, go do their business, come back. They believe in God. They don't believe that when they go out and somebody bullies them or something happens, they have to use God. But now everybody is in fear. You fear to go out, you fear you don't know whether you will come back home because of gunshots. And the same thing, because of all these weapons, all these weapons, people are dying innocently, young ones. Those who have policies in the future, they are dying. So because of that, God is ready. God said his judgment. He revealed his judgment. He says he revealed that the wrath of God be revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. If only there is truth, 
in, in America. There is shoot everywhere. All this war that is going on will not go on. But everybody is there for their selfish thing. But the lot of God will come up. And all of us that are doing those wrong, that are hiding the truth, that are doing so many things. When Obama wants to become, uh, when he wants to become the second president again, what he did? They are both getting married. He said, man to man, marry. Woman to woman, come and marry each other so that he can gain population to become the second president, which they did. But at the end of the day, you give your entire soul to the world. Are you going to make him? No. So if he repent now, as he's young, it's better. But if he still continue, he will die because he has signed a legacy on this earth that God denied in heaven. He said, I created man and woman to leave their family, cleave together and be one. But now the nation said no. So all this is the war. This is a war the devil is creating on this earth. This is a war that we have to fight as Christians. What he says, he said, God is plain to them. When he says, he says, since what they behold about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God invisibly quali qualified his internal power and divine nature have been clearly seen by understood from what he has made so that people are without excuse. We will be without no excuse. Tomorrow when you die, there is no excuse because it is written in the world. He said, for although they knew God, they neither glorify him as God, nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts are darkened. Although they claim to be wise, they became fool and exchanged the glory of immoral, immoral God for image, made to look like a moral, mortal human being, and be their animals and reptiles. He said, therefore, God gave them over in, in the sinful desire of their heart to sexual impurity of the disgrading of their bodies with one another. He said they exchange the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. Amen. He continued to say, he said because of this, God gave them over to shameful loss. Even their women exchange natural sexual relationship to unnatural ones. That is woman to woman. So we see where the sin is coming from. In the same way, the men also abandon natural relation with women and we are inflamed with lust for one another man. That is what is happening now. On this act. He said men commit shameful acts with other men and receive in themselves the due penalty for their error. Every error on this act that is done, if we call ourselves Christian, we call ourselves born again, we call ourselves believing the things of God, if we do any of this in the darkness, he said you will not inherit the kingdom of God. I don't care how you pray. He said, furthermore, just as they did not think of what why to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to the pride mind. So they put do, they, they do what ought not to do. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, the, the privity. They are full of evil, murder, strife, disease, malice. They are gossip, they slander, God haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. If you find yourself as a believer in this category, begin to refrain, start going back, because you cannot go further with this type of attitude and think that you will never the kingdom of God. He said, no. He invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. So if we are disobeying our parents, you want to start going backward and start thinking, am I doing what is right? Because you will not inherit the kingdom of God, no matter what you do. He said, they have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do short things deserve death. Every one of us will die because of death. Some of them are seeing their own death on this earth. Before they die, they can die so mercilessly. You don't want to see their death because of their wicked ways. They say they not only continue to do these very things, but also approve those who practice them. We understand this is a 
This is a, a straight word. It's a being filled with unrighteousness, fornication. These are key points. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, desist, malignity, whispers, backslider, enter of God, dis despiteful, proud, boaster, inventors of evil things, disobedient, full of envy. These are the things that he said in the world. Without understanding, he said co covenant breaker, without natural affliction, emplacement on merciful, who knowing the judgment of God, they which commit short things are worthy of death. We are all worthy of death. But the death that God is talking about is different from the death that he is going to give. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So today, we have seen the key point. It's a God revealed from heaven against everyone that is ungodliness, that is unrighteous of man, who holds the truth in unrighteousness. <clears throat> at times they will look at you, they say you're too far. It's better that you are far than you are holding the truth. I want to encourage everyone today, viewers worldwide, you don't have to start to come to, to use bad words to tell the truth. You can be far to tell the truth the right way with no disrespect. But when you see something that is wrong, that is not right, and you are a Christian, you read the word, you know that these words, God already said these words, this word I'm reading, that if you do these things, you will not make heaven. Stand there and start saying the truth. Say, I don't think this is right to me. I might say it wrong. You start apologizing, but say it. Because when you open your mouth and say the truth right there, you don't know what you have done. Maybe that person thinks that what they were doing or they are doing is already right. But because of that cynic uh, 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 correction, you have changed a soul. You are going and sitting down. You say, oh, I thought this was the right one. All of us think that the same way. I thought way back before. Maybe something I was thinking in my own way, this is right. Then somebody said, no, you are doing it the wrong way. I said, but it was working for me. He said, no. Then when they show me this is the way, I said, oh my God. I was doing this wrong, but really it's right. So when somebody make correction or correct you, that don't mean you should get upset, but just go, evaluate everything you discuss about, think of it, and say, you know what? She or he might right. I might do it this way. I might not do it this way. Some people will tell you, wine is a wine. I will take wine because wine is just 5% or 2%. It don't do nothing to me. But for me, I will not even take 2%. If I take 2% before now, if I take 2% like somebody who is going crazy. So it means it's not good for me. Because if I take it, what I'm not supposed to do now, I'll be doing it. So now you see me out there in the, in the street. I'm invited to a party. They said, no, it's just 2%. Take nothing will happen. Just 2%. Then now we take two percent. Then now the ear in my head I start throwing it away. That means it's not right. So people will look at things differently. I will look at things differently. But in every one perspective, you put it together, you will see somebody who have the right. Somebody there will speak something that is right. If we follow, we we'll make heaven. All of us are not right at the same time. All of us are not wrong at the same time. Somebody will be there that will write at all times. That will give a word that will make sense. Some of us will make sense, but not too much. And some will not make sense at all. But somebody will be there that God will just give that wisdom that always there is sense in the word. And the sense is coming from the Bible. So if even somebody is standing there talking, you say, I don't, I'm not listening. Come in the word. You say, okay, let's go inside the Bible and see. Then I start reading. He say, ah, God say, if you do all these things, you will not make a You say, which one? He say, ah. Slanders, covetousness. He said, I never heard those words. He said, Come in the Bible and see. And then you read all these words. He said, Oh, I thought only when you drink alcohol, you will not make heaven. So all this including, he said, Yes. Then now somebody understand what you guys spoke about before. Then now you're ready to follow. So if we know, God said there's no excuse for this. If you know all this and decided to hold the truth. You decided not to tell people the truth. You see somebody is doing what they are. Let them just do their own thing. Everybody will make everything different. You will 
not make a room for seeing that work and not saying a word about it and just turn your back. You will not make a room because when you go, God will question you. You know this was. These people are novice. They are not, they don't know the things of God. But with your word of repentance to them, you have made a soul. So let's encourage one another, all of us. I encourage all of us today. You cannot hurt somebody with your words by cursing. You cannot hurt someone with your words by saying bad words. But you can only save a soul by saying this the right way. The Bible can can the Bible can can add to it. You have something that have that satisfies, that have something that you can look at and say, well, it's not coming from me, it's coming from the world. So please, let's begin to help others. Because God anger at sin is not easy. We are seeing the things that is happening in the world. They say, what did you say? Oh, it's just natural disaster. And we have act with. But look, sad, look uh, uh, lives are void. These are people that have name, that have done good. Some of them have done wrong, but their souls are gone. Then you said it's natural disaster. Yes, act wait. We have all this. We have flood. We have all this coming. But me and you don't want to even be part of that. We want to die peacefully. A death that God will say, I am taking you today. Someone will say, she lived a full, good life. But not, oh, you don't know how that person died. It's so sorrowful. We don't want that. We want a death that, yes, somebody will talk about. So today I want to encourage someone in this, whatever we can take out of it, the things that God is saying on godliness, on righteousness. He's talking about wickedness. He talks about, he talks about fornication, talk about wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. These are full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backslider, back, backbiters, haters of God, deceitfulness, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. We want to make sure these things we as a born again, some of these things, we are, we are able to speak them to others, but we are not doing them. But we are able to speak them to others and tell them, these are wrongs. And let them see this in you, that you are not doing none of this, but you are advising, encourage others not to do this. But they cannot see this in us. Then we want to give advice. Then somebody will say, but which church do you go? What do you practice? So if we know we are practicing, we are going to church, Call the name of the God that will serve. We read the word. These are some of the things we need to refrain from in making heaven. So we have made our key point. So the next one that I want us to look at before we close, I'm looking at my time now, I want someone to read Romans, Romans 2, from 1 to 16. God righteous judgment. Romans 2, from 1 to 16. Someone please take that video for me. Romans 2, 1 to 16. Yes. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges doesn't the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things, and doest the same, thou, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? O despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and long suffering, mm -hmm. not knowing that the goodness of God did it did it did to repentance? But after thy hardness and Im, impetitant, impetitant heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, 
of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that walketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are, are a law unto themselves, which should the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience, also bearing with with also bearing witness and their thoughts the man the meanwhile accusing or else accusing one another 16 in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to the gospel yes praise the Lord are you here so we are going to look the key point it's a God's righteous judgment say therefore have no excuse you who pass judgment on someone else. We cannot judge for act. Whatever points you judge another, you are condemning yourself. We are all human. We are created from God. We cannot look at someone and say, why are you walking like that? Why do your face look like that? We cannot start judging or condemning. Because when you are judged, you are condemning yourself. Because you who pass judgment do the same things. He said, now we know that God's judgment against those who do short things is based on truth. So when you are mere human being, pass judgment on them and yet do the same things, do you think you will escape God's judgment? So these are all things that are coming. We have a lot of people that judge without even asking, that judge without even seeing with their eyes. They already concluded, this is who this person is. So we want to refrain from that. These are all things that God wants us to refrain from. He says, so do, so do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, fear bearings, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance. But because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant act, you are storing up wrath against yourself for the day of God's wrath, when his righteous judgment will be revealed. God's judgment is already started, not tomorrow, not yesterday. Israel fight started before me and you were born. I don't know everybody's age, but I know we are young inside here. Even the mama back there, I keep telling everybody that this is her age. She was not even born that time. But the fight still continues because of the, the wickedness and stubbornness. See, all, all these places where they are fighting, just see. You will just see one man just stop up. Souls are born without even passing that judgment to say, these are innocent children. I always worried about the young children. That's my worry. Where these children will be? Why are they dying like this? He said, because of your stubbornness and your unrepentant heart, these people act is like stone. You just need for people to die. Children to die. You are not thinking, well, a lot of people don't think there's another world, whether there's another world tomorrow. People don't think. He said, you are storing that against yourself for the day of God's wrath. When his righteous judgment will be revealed, God will repay each person according to what they have done. What you have done, you will get paid on this earth. So if we are doing wicked things, let's start doing what is right, because we don't know, it can be tomorrow. Some people, their own judgment is even here. Some people, they young, God already passed judgment. You will see sudden. Things will happen to them. There will be no way, no way out. They will die. He said to those who by persistence in doing good, seek glory, honor, and immortality, he will give eternal life to us. I know, and all of you that are sitting here, I can see to you and know that you guys are good. Keep doing what you are doing. He said, but for those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. And that anger is falling right now. You think when you lay down on your bed, some things are happening, some places is not happening to you. You think God is sleeping. He is not sleeping. 
He can stop anything on this earth. When accidents are about to happen, you say, wow, oh my God. It's only God. You think that you are the only one God loves? As long as you do what is right, he hears your cry. He knows that that accident is going to happen. He lets it happen anyway, without no death. But still keep you on this hand. And then what next happen? You say it's only God. I have gone into how many accidents? I am still standing. Accident for one accident or another. You think that this person is dead, but look at me standing here. It's a testimony. God wants God want to tell me, say, my daughter, your hard work has paid off. I'm still watching you. Even though the enemy said, you should not leave, but I'll keep you. But those things that happen to us, when you see you come alive, it means it's a testimony. God loves you. It means you are close to doing good. So what that means, you should continue to do good. So that's what he's telling you. He said, continue to do what is right. But those who self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. There will be trouble. There will be distress for every human being who does evil. He said, first for the Jews, then for the Gentiles. He said, but glory and honor, peace for everyone who does good. First for the Jews and the Gentiles. For God does not do favorism. He did not favor us. I will not favor. We are all the same. So we need to treat one another same. He said, all the sins apart from the law will also perish apart from the law. And all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. He said, for it is not those who hear the law who are righteous. Indeed, when the Gentiles do not have the law, do by nature things law, they show that the requirements of the law are written on their hearts. Their conscience always be witness, and their thoughts sometimes accuse them, and at other times even defending them. This will take place on the day when judgment people secret through Jesus Christ, as my people, as the gospel declares, what the gospel have said, it will come to pass. We need to be very careful. If you are doing good, continue to do good. If you are doing right, continue to do right. On this act, in this season that we're in, this is our own generation. Some people are passing and going. So some of us, we are still here. God has given us privilege to live and enjoy time. While you are enjoying it, do what is right. It takes, it, it takes nothing for us to do what is right. It takes nothing for us to open our hearts to love. Others, it takes nothing for us to take, to embrace one another because we are all the same. But if we are not embracing love, we are not opening our hearts to one another, we are not accommodating one another, then there is problem. God said there is distress. Then he said there is judgment. Then he said there is war. Then he said there is wrath upon you. So if you know you are practicing those things, refrain from doing them. Praise the Lord. Lastly, in this section, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. That's our last one. We're going to wrap, wrap it up with that. Someone need that, please. First Corinthians 6. 6. 6. From 9 to 11, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What did he say in this verse? What did he say? And he said, Oh, do you know that one words will not inherit the kingdom of God? That is a question. Do you know if you are doing wrong, 
you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, neither the sexual immorality, nor adulterers, nor idolaters, nor men who have nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves or the greedy or drunkard, nor slanders, nor swingers, will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Spirit of our God. Amen. Amen. So these are the things. Some of us will. And now we are washed by what? By the blood of Jesus Christ. So we are sanctified and we are justified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We cannot go back to those two. So as the scripture is telling us, Immorality, it talks about adulterers, it talks about adulterers, it talks about men who have sex with men. The same thing goes to women. The Bible is what's saying, it's not my mouth. I'm just reading from what I am seeing. It talks about all these things. And it said, none of them, or none of us, will marry the kingdom of God, unless we we'll stop this. It talks about greed, it talks about drunkenness, slanders. He talk about all this that you know it inherit the kingdom of God. And then he said, some of us were like that. But now you are washed. So if you know you are washed with the blood of Jesus, you know who you are. Once the blood of Jesus is flowing in you, in you, you know who you are. So we cannot go back to our wrong doing. All we need to do is say, continue to do what is right. Because you are sanctified, you are washed. Even heaven knows us. Even the devil that they call Satan knows us. So he knows his cause. He knows where to make shortcuts. He cannot make shortcuts to us. Because the Bible already tells us we are washed and we are sanctified. As we are we are here of the world today, let's continue to be a doer. As we continue to follow what the Lord said. We will make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would like everyone to stand so that we can pray the salvation prayer. Our salvation prayer in Peter's name, we are going to pray that God will save our souls. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. I confess my sins. I ask for, for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footstep. Daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. For answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So we want to wish all those who are celebrating their life, their birthday today, anniversary today. Happy anniversary, happy birthday. Worldwide, wherever you are, we pray for speed. We pray for God's blessing upon your life. Your anniversary, we pray for your union to grow. Whatever anniversary, we pray that God has to continue to be upon it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't please remain standing and we we'll stretch our hands over the man of God for the wonderful message that has been preached today. Oh God, eternal Father, Amen. with gratitude of heart, with the sons and daughters, we humble God and before you. Amen. Lord, we thank you, God, for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you for the life of the woman of God by preaching the word today. Heavenly Father, we pray that continue to use her mightily Amen. as you have called her in this fine year to preach your word. Amen. She will be able to magnify her callings. To preach repentance and bring souls unto your kingdom. Amen. In every area of our life, continue to use her mightily. Amen. We pray for increments, protections, Amen. we pray for more grace and enlarge our course, O oh Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, wheresoever she goes, the power of God, the grace of God will be bestowed upon her life. Amen. She shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That will lead us to uh, our tithe and offering. But I will also help us with his hand with us.
as you partake of this water, let there be a permanent healing. Anything that you have been expecting for, you have been waiting for so long. As we partake of this water, oh Lord, I pronounce thee. Heavenly Father, we give you all the honors. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we please pronounce seven times the blood of Jesus upon this water? The blood of Jesus. 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 Drink it. You will come here and testify about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We will now turn the rest of the sections to the woman of God for our final prayer. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. What a God is we have to you if you are. That we will not only be a hearer of your word, but a doer in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear God, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, Lord, Amen. for purifying our mind and our heart with your word and setting us free from bondage of unrighteousness. Amen. Thank you for the good time that we you are giving us today. Amen. Help us to find more time to do this again. Amen. May we continue to walk in purity. May, may we continue to walk in righteousness. May we continue to walk in peace. May we continue to walk in love. May we continue to walk in joy. Let your name be glorified in heaven and on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray this week we will not die by accident. Amen. We will not die prematurely. Amen. We will not die spiritually. We will not die physically. Amen. We will not die by God shot. Amen. We pray the grace of God will continually be upon us all the days upon our heart. Amen. I pray the Lord will bless you and keep you. Thank the Lord make his face shine on you and, give, and be gracious to you. Amen. And the Lord will turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. I pray the peace of God will continually be upon your life. Amen. All the days of this heart. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We Amen. have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Lord of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful. Amen. 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 Seven powerful. Hallelujah. 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 Go in peace and have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you all. The Lord bless you all over the world. Shalom. Have a wonderful Sunday. You all bless. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Our beloved wife, Melinda, Marilyn, thank you everyone. Ibrahim S. Kaba. Kaba. Sylvia, thank you everyone for joining today. God bless you as you continue to join Mutiba James. Thank you for joining. 
Fatima Sako, thank you for joining. Thank you everyone, those who I'm unable to see, God bless you as you continue to join this forum. You'll be blessed. You all have a wonderful evening. We love you all, but Jesus loves you more. Shalom, bye-bye.